Red Eye. Welcome back to Red Eye. As we said earlier, we're bringing you stories of people that decided to go out and rob and decided to be stupid. Or rather, we have brave people. I mean, it's a shame we're not seeing Nigerians in it. But let's uh, uh, take you to the next story. There are people that cannot be robbed in this world. People like me mm -hmm. and this guy that you're about to see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where do you think you're going no, to? No, he didn't have okay. the same defense. He didn't take anything. No, he did. But I'm sure it wasn't what he planned on getting away with. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that guy wasn't smart at all. You have a lot of, really, you have a lot of. We should, really, we should have a lot of brave, although I'm of the opinion that we should really think, we should really get um, lessons on defending ourselves. Yes, yeah. like courses yeah. in so the university. Yeah. Not so that we don't. Not actually, not actually, not it's actually needed here in Lagos. How fun is this university? They are just basic things like taekwondo, yeah, that we need that something in Lagos. Because sometimes we see people, people who just, I've been in traffic one day and I've seen somebody go from car to car with a gun, telling people just, you know, when you go just. Knocks on the glass and the person wants. I've actually down. been a victim, give me my things. brother. Really? Yes. And, like, no. give me your things. But then he got to the car in front of me and mm. I, like two cars ahead of me. Yeah. He just poked the door and was like this. And there was a guy and a girl in the car who was just looking at him. Are you serious? <laughs> two things, first of all. If there was a real gun and it was loaded, yeah. he may have shot. Yes. But then for the fact that they didn't answer, that not gave other people courage. Not to You know, not to attend. And then somebody actually came out of his car and then the guy ran away. Wow. Well, let me, take you, let, let me take you now to this one. You're going to enjoy this one. When, uh, Women has, I don't know, a woman has now gotten to this level of this kind of talent, man. It's, it's really shocking. You don't have to Taking, target, you don't have to stereotype no, 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 women. No, no. Anybody can No, 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 no. This, the talent, talent is something else. Chukudi, you'll be so much interested in this one. Exactly. And this all the talent. men that have been robbing. No, 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 no. Please give no, us a No, but when women this. do it, it At least women got away with this. No, no, no. Because this all one the women is, were never caught. I don't know if she actually used magic or she added everything together, but this is off the hook. Bear theft. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's something else. But why would a woman still be? I don't know. Is she no, a drunk? She never got caught. Right. Okay, I see why she did it. <laughs> oh, CCTV cameras captured this group of people doing what seems like a run of the mill weekly shop. That is until the woman in blue crouches down and puts an entire crate of beer up her skirt. Holding it between her legs, she calmly leaves with her pals. Can you guys ah, beat that? that? Can you can you just beat that? that? But you know what? Nothing yeah. nothing irritates me more than a weak man. It's obvious the man told her to because he, the man wanted the beer and he what? gesticulated to oh, his yeah, wife. No, 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 so no, you're trying to say the man is a drunk now. Why are you always you're always driving me down to men? And if she didn't want it, why would why did you say that? That woman is a drunk. Okay, no, the man is not a drunk. The man is the man is the person who drinks, but the woman is the one who steals. I mean, division of labor. The families, you know, you have to conquer that. She just trying to support her drunk husband. Exactly. Why didn't go out to the street and walk? Because like she's, she's, you know, she owns a beer parlor. She's probably the one yeah. working. She's probably the one working and buying the beer. So she the just said, well, let me steal beer for but this. One very man. important <laughs> question we need to ask: okay. What is on the what there? Is down because down there? Just let me what just down there? Like a case of beer. Can you? I don't know. Can we? Can you put something to vanish? You think that place was magnificently created? My dear, thank you. I don't know. But, but this time around, let's, let's, let's look at what, you know, people say what a man can do, mm -hmm. a woman can do, and even better. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to shoplifting, there are ways that women can do it that you become even surprised and you cannot help but give them an award. Let's look at women shoplifting and see how special you know, women are and other places where they can steal and hide <laughs> precious in items. A, in a mm, compartment. In a, <laughs> in a women now. shop.
But, wow. but do you see, do you see the thing with robbery? I think robbery comes with greed. The more you take, because the more you want, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Of but course. then yeah. again, you guys, all the men who stole, all the videos we've seen of the men always get caught. But these two women now. No way. No. We don't so know if they got now. caught. We don't know if they got caught. They've been so caught. I mean, the CCTV they were, is there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's so easy. No. It's so easy to Maybe understand. <laughs> they were captured by the CCTV. Yeah. Now you said it. Are you for them to be lynched? Yes, yes, but you know yeah. they did it so well. No, but look yeah. at the man who defended the, the he bank. He so weak. He was given a thousand two hundred pounds and an award. Easy. I mean, oh. men are really the defenders exactly. of the universe. In the yeah. what? Anyway. Well, <laughs> okay, yeah, well, what, what I'm going to say now is this. Now, mm -hmm. so many people try to rob, and we, we've seen cases where CCTV cameras have actually captured their faces and all. Now, it would be a good idea, not like I'm training robbers, but it would be a good idea if at all you want to rob, be smart as it. Put on some disguise, some makeup that like can make like you look pretty woman? like Guinica or something. Oh, no, you, <laughs> you look like me. <laughs> but then, some people put on stupid disguises when they want to rob. And of course, if you see something that looks strange, you would obviously go after it. Now take a look at this kind of disguise for a robber or for robbers. Police say this is 48-year-old Dennis Hawkins. He's 6'2", he's got a dark goatee and fake breasts and a blonde woman's wig. Swissville police say he was captured on surveillance cameras. And goes to the Kmart in the Edgewood Town Center. At that point, he's uh, uh, on film stealing a gun, a CO2 cartridge gun from the Kmart. Then they say he went to the Citizens Bank on the Keg Street. Police say he handed over a note that read, quote, this is a holdup. Do not put no die packs in no money because I will see your family and also your kids. But the teller did put a die pack in the bag. You can see the red cash that was recovered. She had no idea that it was an air gun. It, in fact, does definitely look like a real gun. Then police say Hawkins made it to a nearby convenience store and tried to steal several people's cars. He got into her car. Uh, she turned around and ran into the store and uh, went behind their bulletproof glass in there and then called the police to say that uh, this person was trying to steal her car. Police got there fast enough to find him. Did you steal that gun? No, I did not. Money that had the ink on it started falling out from underneath his uh, shirt. The wig was protruding from his pants pocket, and uh, they also recovered the gun, which was in his waistband. Police say even if he wasn't caught red-handed after the crime, Dennis Hawkins would not have made it far. Probably should be one of America's dumbest criminals. <laughs> really, he must have, he's, he's one of the dumbest criminals I've Very ever seen. I'm glad, I'm glad uh, HM earlier said what women, uh, what men can do, women can do, and even better, because women will not be that dumb. No. See his body posture, no, he didn't even consider his size. But, 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 sure but, I, think this, this, I think the disguise is what gave him away. Of if course. he had gone like a man, yeah. I mean, why dress like a woman and try to steal? Exactly. If he had, if he had left, gone like a man, his beers. if he had gone like a man, it would have probably even been more fearful, because yes, he's quite big on the size. Thank you, exactly. Now, sorry, he he stole a gun, a fake gun, after seeing a fake gun with a wig and looking very terrible. Then you go and, and try to rob and then tell them not to put dye. What they do, they put dye in you know bundles of money so they can trace you if you try to spend it. And then you try to rob somebody's car and then it's just a trail of exactly. silly robberies. He obviously doesn't have God. If he has God, he would not bump into this guy, an officer of the law, an ex-officer of the law, like this video here that's going to show us. Never steal from an officer of the law. John Alexander is a clerk at the Beer 30 liquor store. He was working a typical shift Sunday night when things got interesting. A gentleman could come in the, uh, the door there, smoke a cigarette, and I asked him to take a cigarette back outside. And so I just pulled the gun out from, the, from behind him and uh, said, you need to give me all your money. But the would-be thief learned quickly. He picked the wrong guy, a former military police officer packing heat. And I pulled my weapon up. And put it up against his mouth and told him, you need to get out of here before I blow your head off. Back right, right on out the door. Uh, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but Jeff, what do you recommend in a situation like that? What, what, what should the robber have done? Shouldn't you stand up to what you believe in? No, no, no. He would have just just dropped that gun and just, my hands are clean. Give up. <laughs> no, I, he ran away. The, I'm, I'm, talking, I'm not saying for the military man, I'm talking okay. of the robber. What he would have done as in? Mm, shouldn't say attack the man with the gun. No, at that whole one. No, 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 no. Well, you have a gun in your mouth. A gun on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> on the forehead. Look, 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 look at the way, no look at the way the no former remedy. military police officer stretched out his hand. He held First of all, as yes. in, okay, so as in, he held his hand and brought out his gun. So he, 
Very experienced. Oh, true. Yeah. Do you know, it shows the experience. I wonder if I'm... Oh, and it boils down to this thing we are saying about everybody having a self, um, personal... And you know, self yeah. 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 Really I have a taser in my car after being robbed really? twice. Really? Yes. A real taser? Yes. Anyway, so um, I, would, I have a video that I would love to call the biggest and uh, most bizarre robberies in history. But we don't have any video from Nigeria and from uh, other African countries and so, because we have some bizarre issues. But according to records, here are the seven biggest and most bizarre robberies in history. Still insist yeah. that that is not the most biggest uh, no. robbery in history. Simple. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. twenty billion mm -hmm. US dollars. But yeah. I, th there is one I actually find interesting. The yeah. guy stole, used the money for business. He had his profits. He gave and back the money he stole. The lottery ticket. Yeah. yeah, I like that. I think that now, that, 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 that is an evil blood. You have the of an evil blood in here. Yeah, right. But, no, there's, no, no, but there's, <laughs> no, there's no justification <laughs> for. Of course, we're doing a crime and they start coming back. Yeah. 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 All right, maybe so, that's uh, what we call it borrowing, not stealing. <laughs> so, here's a, a quick recap of everything we have done so far. But before then, remember if you have any video or odd story around your area or anything you heard of you want us to talk about, email us redeye at cooltv.co. You can also use the hashtag on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, hashtag redeye. You could also tweet at us, cooltvredeye. Now, here's your recap. Today on Red Eye, we discovered sometimes robbers can also be victims of robbery. People like me. To knock down a Goliath, you don't only need Red David's eye. courage and strength, but also Usain Bolt's speed. I don't know what he was thinking, you know, you just rob and just walk out. Wonder what lies within? What One very important question we need to ask. Okay. What is under, underneath what there? Is down there? Just... Zoom in! What the male can do the she male can do worse. I'll, I'll take up that job from tomorrow. Ah, that was a great story today, guys. Don't you think? Very good. Yeah. Robberies, really crime. Great. Really great. Oh, like <laughs> wrong, wrong robberies and guys, wrong crimes. Guys, you guys should learn. If you want to steal, ensure that you have everything, including your backup. Vehicle, no, right? the, the mm -hmm. I think What's this week call that vehicle? Should should try to see the getaway, getaway van. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, uh, the end, moral lesson of everything is: please don't steal Nigerians. Learn your self defense so that you will be you will not always be scared every time a robbery comes up. So Pepper that's it for us today. Spray. Join us next week, and we say bye. Pledge in no, peace. au revoir, au revoir. Pledge in <laughs> peace. We pledge peace. Au revoir. Be sure to join us every Saturday, 10 p.m. on Cool TV Star Times, Channel 196. Here is Red Eye.